as if we haven't had enough snow this winter. Here it is again. Yeah, I'm getting ready to move to Florida. Get out of here. I seen enough of this. What was supposed to be a fairly moderate snowfall ended up being a monster storm. Much of the Northeast woke up to more than a foot of snow, leaving quite a few agitated commuters. Uh, normally it's a 15 minute commute, but now it's probably going to be an hour, hour and a half. In Washington, the heavy, wet snow not only wreaked havoc on traffic, but also downed power lines, leaving swarms of people in the dark. In Boston, 16 inches. While area schools were closed, those heading to work grabbed their shovels and climbed over mountains of snow. Enough? That's enough, you know? We have enough for this year. In New York, a whopping 19 inches of snow blanketed Central Park. This has been the snowiest January to date for the city. Not including this last round of snow, the National Weather Service estimates around 37 inches of snow has fallen over Central Park. With 6,000 miles of streets to clean, this much snow is always a problem for the city. Yeah, I mean, it's the snowiest January that I remember in New York City. So, yeah, it's pretty insane. The heavy snow also canceled hundreds of flights across the region. Newark's Liberty International Airport was closed for much of the day as airlines worked feverishly to de-ice planes. After a snow-filled season, travelers weren't exactly surprised. There's not much point in getting stressed out about it because uh, it's weather. And, you know, I mean, like I said, the airlines can't manage the weather and I can't manage the weather either, so you may as well just work around it. And you might as well keep those shovels and boots out. Some areas are forecasted to get yet more snow this weekend. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.